But to install this, we've got our Pixelcade marquee. We've got a couple of wood screws right here. Trusty Phillips screwdriver. And then over here, we've got our 12 volts power to power the marquee. And then I've got a micro USB connection connector to connect to the uh, LCD marquee as well. So let's start, let's make sure this is not upside down. So this is right side up. And I'm just simply gonna take my 12 volts power, plug it in there. And then again, we gotta make sure we don't put it upside down. Now, a good way you can tell too, is if you look at the front of it, this may be a little hard to see on the camera, but this top part is a little thicker than the bottom part in terms of the marquee cover. So that's how you know you got it right set up. So I'm just simply going to put it set here like so. Once you've got your hole drilled, go ahead then take your screw these are those metal screws. This I would not use a screw gun, I would use a screwdriver. Because you've got your pilot hole, it's gonna go in pretty nice and easy. Okay, and once you've got the right side done, or if you start on the left side, the other side's gonna be pretty easy to do. So I'm just going to put in my screw until I find that hole. That's it right there. Okay. Now the other side is not going to fall over, so you can just walk around and do the other side. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Then, uh, this is optional, but there's a little top cover piece here. You can just put that right on the top, and that gives it a little nicer look. Um, you can glue it down or just kind of leave it there. That's totally up to you. Let's leave it off for now. Then it's just a matter of turning this guy on. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So we're going to set up our Super Pixelcade LCD marquee to our home Wi-Fi network. So the first time you turn on Pixelcade, it's going to look like this. And basically what it's telling you is please connect to the Pixelcade Wi-Fi network, which is a temporary access point. And then we're basically going to connect your Pixelcade to your home Wi-Fi. So what you need to do is go ahead and get out your smartphone and download the Pixelcade app. Once you've got that app, go ahead and go here, go to the Pixelcade setup temporary Wi-Fi access point. Okay, and then once we've done that, let's go ahead and launch the Pixelcade app. And then this will come up. So it's basically gonna tell us, please now connect to your Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my Wi-Fi. And you can also just kind of check there, check your password to make sure you've typed it in right, and then just hit return. And then now you'll see this change, and it's basically going to attach to your home Wi-Fi. It's going to reboot. Now it's rebooting. And as long as you see this Pixelcade logo upon reboot, that means everything's good. You've connected to your Wi-Fi network, so you're good to go.
So we've plugged it in and now we booted it up and on boot up, it's going to look like this. So basically, um, pixel Kate LCD connects to your cabinet over Wi-Fi. It does not connect over an HDMI cable or USB cable. So what we need to do is we need to get Pixelcade on the same Wi-Fi network as your home Wi-Fi network. So it's going to tell us what to do. So it's going to say first connect to the Pixelcade Wi-Fi access point. So it's going to establish a temporary access point. So let's go ahead and go from the computer here. So I'm connected to it. There's no internet access from this, of course, but it does say we're connected. So then what you want to do is you want to go here and you want to go to setup.pixelcade.org. And this is basically where we're going to tell Pixelcade how to get on your home Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go here. And in this case, I'm going to pick AxiNet. And then I'm going to put in my password. Do make sure you put in the password right. If you put in the password wrong, it'll give you a chance to put in a new one, but it'll take like five minutes or so to time out. So just take care to put in the right password. Hit submit. And then now what you'll notice is Pixelcade, L Super Pixelcade LCD will reboot. And when it reboots, it's then going to join your production uh, home Wi-Fi network. Okay, so while that's rebooting, let's go ahead and get back on your normal Wi-Fi network. Actually, it should Windows actually should connect you automatically as it did here. So now I'm back on my normal network. And so now we have Pixelcade set up. Um, it's got the generic Pixelcade marquee here. And so now we need to install the Pixelcade software on our PC. So I'm going to go to pixelcade.org. I'm going to go to downloads. And you'll see this page. Now, if in my case, I actually have both LCD and if I pan down, you'll see the LED marquee mounted on the base plate. If you just have the LCD only, pick this one. I'm going to pick this one because I have both. But most people that have LCD would just pick this one. So let's go ahead and download this guy. All right, so we've downloaded. Let's go ahead and run the install. Now, again, in my case, I have LED and LCD installed on this CAD. Um, if you just have LCD, you wouldn't see the screen. So I'm going to pick this because I have both. Um, I like to install this. If you've got a D drive, put it on your D drive. Um, if you're on Hyperspin, you'll have, probably have a directory called Arcade. It's a good place to stick it under that. And just hit Install. Okay, so again, because I have LED, I need to enter the COM port of my Pixelcade LED. You can skip that. And then this part, you'll see, okay, it's just going to confirm where LED Blinky is installed. And in my case, I have Hyperspin. Um, this front end wizard, by the way, you can run at any time. You'll find it under your programs here. So if I go over here to Pixelcade, You'll see this Pixelcade Arcade front end wizard. That's how you can get back to this guy. So let's say you want it, your main um, thing is hyperspin, but you're also running big box. You can just run this again and set it up for big box, for example. So that is it. Takes you to this guide here. So there's some information if you need it. And at this point, we should be good. So let's go ahead and run it. You'll see this will get added to your startup folder. It's a program that has to be running in the background called the Pixelcade Listener. So if I double click here, and also this is a good visual way. See how it said Pixelcade LCD detected? That means it found your display over Wi-Fi and we should be fine. If it didn't say that, then there's some connectivity issue and we'll need to troubleshoot that because it wasn't able to communicate to Pixelcade LCD over Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Again, got to minimize it because this always has to be running in the background. And now let's launch, in my case, Hyperspin.